Hi, welcome to Cowboy Studio and our instructional video series. Today we want to show you our flash gun accessory kit. This particular kit is going to be made to fit many different types of speed light flashes and then it's going to come with several different light modifier options for you to switch out between. So it can be really interesting and show you a lot of the different ways your speed light can be utilized. We're going to demonstrate today on our Yongi Go 565 speed light. This one is very similar to the Canon 580EX. So when I'm picking the part that's going to allow me to do all of the items on it, this is called the adapter, I'm picking the one for the 580 in this particular case. You're going to notice it just kind of slides around and it's a little bit of a tight fit, but it really needs to be just so that you can be secure that this isn't going to just fall off in the middle of the shoot. So once you've got that attached on, you'll notice that there are these little kind of teeth thing and you're going to get some extra ones in your package, but these are what are going to grip all the different light modifiers. Now what you're going to get in this particular package is going to be a little barn door, a larger grid, a beauty dish, a snoot with grids, a globe diffuser, and a soft box. So let's kind of go over each of these individually. Obviously the beauty dish works pretty much like a standard one. It does have the little center part. And when you go to attach it, pretty much all of them are going to attach this way where it goes in between the little teeth and just slides down. So once you've done that, you're going to notice you're ready to use it. You're ready to use it as a beauty dish. And you are going to have enough clearance to be able to use this on a camera. So you can use this on or off camera. Now, so that's the beauty dish. It's going to give that kind of circular effect that you pretty much only see in beauty dishes. You're also going to have here the barn door. Once I go and open that. What I would do to attach the barn door is you want to kind of rotate it so that the teeth can grip in between where all the flaps are and then just like the others you're just going to slide down onto the teeth. Kind of helps if you do it one at a time here and you're just going to do it at those upper corners and do it at the lower corners and then you're ready to use your barn door. Obviously the barn door, you can adjust the flaps inward or outward to kind of open up or close down that light area. Now, we also have this. This is just gonna be a straight grid. So you're not gonna really be modifying the shape of the light so much as the way the light is released. So the pointed grids that are kind of a honeycomb style, they're going to break up the light a little bit and just really soften it. Similar to a diffuser, but with a kind of different effect. It can kind of look more like light through blinds or something. You'll recognize the look when you see it in photographs, but it does give a very unique look. A lot of people really like that for their portrait work. You also, of course, have the snoot. Now on the snoot, you actually have a choice between two different grid styles. There's going to be one that has a larger weave and one with a smaller weave. And one thing you can actually do is use one of these, or I'm sorry, rather just attach over the top. Or if before you attach that, you can actually kind of put on both of them. And what that can do is create even tighter of a grid than even the small weave on its own. So you can either use the large weave, the small weave, or both together to kind of create a different look. Now the globe diffuser is a style you don't see as often anymore because they are a little delicate, a little harder to pack, but they do give a really unique look to the light. Because of the way that they release the light, they're going to look more like the really old style bulbs, those large incandescent bulbs. Because of that, they tend to give a very diffuse look, but also they kind of center a little bit in the middle of the photograph. So I like to call this a kind of vintage look. Um, because it's an older style and because it tends to give that old style feel, I really like to use these for vintage photography to just kind of give it that kind of old world glow that they used to have. Now last but not least by any means is the softbox. You're going to notice on this particular softbox you get several different choices as to the diffuser. Now, usually on a softbox you just have the plain white diffuser. That's going to be standard. This one comes with colored ones as well though. So when you construct the softbox, you can make it with any of these colors, which is going to allow you to do some unique effects. The thing I want to go over on this is how you're going to construct the softbox. Now when you look at it, you're going to notice on this ring, first of all, that there are several different hole slots. Now this is going to be the only item that does not attach via these front teeth, but rather through these holes. So when you go to insert one of these, you'll notice it kind of just stops. 
And if you have it at the right angle, you'll notice it's kind of angled slightly forward. That's where it's secure. You'll notice if I accidentally go through it the other way, you know, it's going to come out the front. Make sure you're angling back towards the back and then you're going to get a nice secure part in there. So what you want to do is take this and stretch it over the light. It's actually easier in this particular case if this is off. You insert it from the back. And then it's just gonna construct like a regular soft box. You're just gonna take one of the pieces, make sure you have it lined up the way you wanna do. For example, right now, you'll notice it's kind of aligned where it's gonna be a little more vertical on the soft box. So it's gonna be an up and down shot. And then I'm just gonna take this, go into one of the holes here and just bend it down into the hole. Now, if you've ever constructed a softbox before, this should be a pretty familiar technique, but just to go over it, you want to do opposite corners from one another. And once you have those opposite corners in, just like that, then you want to do the other corners. I'm just going to keep going on just like that. And then you would attach the diffuser over the front. And it's just going to be used like a standard softbox. You do have a couple of hole options, so you'll be able to change orientations on it between the vertical and the horizontal to get the best look. And of course, like I mentioned before, you can choose between one of the six different colored diffusers. Or, and this one, I know these two look rather blue, but this one is actually going to be a purple. So you do have six distinct colors or you can use the standard white. Now, if you have any questions about this product or any of our others, please visit the cowboystudio.com website.